Hello everyone, welcome to the 14th lecture on Engineering Graphics Module Pre-Development of Surfaces. Today we shall be dealing certain problems related to with cone. Draw the development of a frustum of a cone. Diameter of bottom base is 60 mm and frustum height is 90 mm. Overall height of the cone is 110 mm. You are given a cone. Total height of the cone is given as 110 mm. You are given the base distance as 60 mm, that is base diameter as 60 mm. Then you have told that a sectional plane is it's being, uh, it should be noted that frustrum means when you are using a sectional plane which is horizontal or which is directly parallel in nature to the base is cutting this cone in such a manner that it's removing one portion of the cone. The leftover portion is basically termed as the frustrum. Okay. So you are asked to draw the development of this particular frustrum. So in order to do that, what you do is, first of all, you draw the uh, cone and mass, uh, the front view of the cone as well as the frustrum. So draw a 60 mm line, after which go for a 110 mm vertical line. Join these two points. Then as you know, the frustrum height is 90 mm. So measure 90 mm in the vertical line and then measure 90 mm in this vertical line then go for this horizontal line such that the leftover portion you get is a frustrum okay now after which since um, you know the vertical distance okay this vertical distance is known to you fine uh, <coughs> this distance you can measure it from the front view itself and this radius also you can measure it from the uh, friend view okay so first of all you need to create a sector to show the development of the code a complete code so for that you need this measurement that is theta to get that theta take this distance if suppose there is a midpoint over here you take this distance into 360 whole divided by this CB radius CB will give you theta so first of all you draw a line of length CB that is the same radius you plot it over here after which you calculate theta and mark it over here so you'll get the final boundary then you join it with an circular arc since you know this radius please draw it with a circular arc then after which you need to measure this radius this particular radius and transfer it over here and draw another arc okay so when you're drawing it make sure that this arc this two lines this two lines and this particular arc is highlighted or are in dark lines this portion should be in light line okay so please check this procedure i have already drawn the sector the biggest development of the cone with theta the way I have told you to compute after which you take CE as a radius and draw in another arc so this portion should be light enough okay this is the final solution of the current problem again I'm repeating the process first of all draw this diameter as this height is given please draw a vertical line with that after which join th these two ends then total height of the frustum is given so mark it on this vertical line thus you get this portion draw this line okay then you measure this radius that is o dash i dash one dash same with the same radius draw o1 okay then compute theta you require this sector of the angle is required um, so theta is equal to this particular distance p dash 1 dash into 360 divided by o dash 1 dash compute theta you measure it uh, with protract over here and draw this particular line after which join it with a circular arc okay so that is a complete development of the cone after which you measure o dash 2 dash as a radius and cut an arc over these two both lines then make sure that these two lines o2 and this o2 line is very light line that the portion should be darker enough 
thus the development of the first term is created moving on to another question a cone of base diameter 100 mm and height 130 mm rest with its base on HP. It is cut by a session plane inclined at 30 degree to HP and perpendicular to EP. Draw the development of the truncated cone if the session plane bisects the axis of the cone. So diameter of the cone is given 100 mm. Height is given 130 mm. So draw the cone first. Then after which you are asked to uh, use sectional plane which is in line 30 degree such that it cuts the axis okay so first of all you draw the top view divide that into eight equal parts then project all the points upwards and create the front view and then use a sectional line which is 30 degree in line and it is bisecting this particular axis now what is required is draw the sector as we have done in the frustum of the cone okay draw the sector complete sector so in order to draw that sector first of all transfer this radius this radius qm over here transfer it over to this line and then uh, you know you need to compute theta of the sector so theta is equal to nm into 360 whole divided by qm okay so you will get a value for theta so measure it in protractor create the boundary the next boundary, last boundary find this line join it with circular arc then divide this complete development of the cone into eight equal parts or rather the sector sorry sector into eight equal parts so in order to divide that you measure the distance in compass and go on cutting arcs on this line so that you get eight equal parts after getting eight equal parts uh, since you have already used sectional plane to cut this uh, solid, you have to transfer all the cut points onto this land edge, OL, I'm sorry, QL. Okay, transfer all the points to QL. So first of all, measure this radius. Q, from Q to here, this is the radius. Transfer it over to this line, similarly to this line. Next point is this one. Transfer it over to this land edge measure this radius and transfer it to second line yes over here and here here and here third is this point transfer it over here measure it transfer it to third line this one and this one okay fourth point is this one transfer it over to here measure that radius and transfer it to this line and this line okay Final one is this one. Transfer it over here. Measure it in radius and transfer it to this particular line. Fine. After getting all the points, that is, I will show you. After getting all the points, on the lateral surface of the cone, you need to join it with free handed line or free handed curve make it as a free handed curve okay these are the final points after getting the final points use free hand drawing and create this curve you can see one two three four five four three two one so this is a curve so this is the cut portion of the cone remaining cut portion of the cone so it has to be highlighted the other portion should be in light lines okay so by this i'm finishing my lecture number 14 see you in next lecture